Meet Dr. Victoria de Reicher, a linguist from Middlesex University in London. Her interest in language is rivaled only by an obsession with ducks. It's a combination that's sure to ruffle a few feathers. <laughs> You see, Victoria has a theory that ducks have regional accents, just like us. Humans have made an assumption that ducks quack in the same way all over the world. And I wanted to challenge that. Victoria, or Dr Quack to her friends, started by asking children across the globe to impersonate the sound of a duck. She found that an English child would say... Quack, quack. A Vietnamese child... Cab, cab. And an Italian child... Quack, quack. Most linguists put this down to language differences, but Dr Quack thought that maybe the ducks themselves had quacksants. On her trusty scooter, Dr Quack hunted down two geographically distinct duck populations for her study, the first of which was in the heart of London. I picked Ducks in East London because I'm a Londoner myself and I feel that it's a really interesting accent. It's one you can very easily recognise and I wanted to see whether or not that might be paralleled in the animal world. Dr Quack's streetwise city ducks were here at Mudshoot City Farm in the east end of London. Ducks aren't keen on staying still at the best of times and sure enough, as soon as Dr Quack brings out her microphone, it causes as much panic in the farmyard as a jar of hoisin sauce and a Chinese cookbook. <laughs> With the city ducks recording, Dr Quack headed out of London to the rural village of Shatling in Kent. But would the laid-back country ducks prove as unwilling to participate as their city counterparts? Ah, such a peaceful life. When the feathers settled, Victoria took time to analyse her recordings, and the results were surprising. So this is the rural duck. And this one is the urban quacking. <laughs> the London ducks are incredibly raucous. They're very loud, they're very fast. They need to make each other heard, I think, or they need to be heard. Amongst each other, and also over the everyday sounds of the city, like planes, trains, traffic, and the hordes of people visiting the city farm. The rural ducks are much slower. They're very relaxed. They use a lot of lower register sounds so that it doesn't seem half so competitive. I think perhaps that's also due to the fact that the sound around them operates very differently. So it seems that Victoria's quacksant theory might be right. The differences in the way humans imitate ducks could well be down to the ducks themselves. Of course, regardless of accents, will we ever really know what ducks are saying to each other? Ooh.